the centre washroom rear island bed layout really is the floor plan of the moment. And you might not think there would be too much variation available on that theme. But now Adria has entered the fray with its new Alpina flagship. It's called the 613 UC Missouri and it really is a completely different take. It's also a monster. Look at it, it's eight feet wide with silver sidewalls and silver front and rear panels. So it looks really quite snazzy. It's also packed with kit. We've got an onboard water tank here and even a little pump to fill it. And then over on the other side, we've got an external locker, an external gas barbecue point, even an external socket and TV point. It's got everything, even the kitchen sink. Now, when I first saw this van at the launch last year, it already had this fabulous lounge area. There really are few better places to sit back and relax in the caravanning world, mainly thanks to these rather wonderful headrests. But what it really lacked was a TV point in the lounge area. It meant you had all the relaxing time, but nothing to watch on the telly. But fortunately, Adria have taken that on board and they finally fitted a TV point. It's in the doorway and they've recessed the wall back, so hopefully you won't catch it on your way in and out of the van. It's great news, it really does answer a main criticism of this caravan. The rest of the lounge, it's pretty fantastic. Without a centre chest here, we've got a lovely wraparound seating area. It feels wonderfully comfortable and really roomy. We've got plenty of light too, with that vast skylight overhead and windows all around. And the concave cupboards at the top help give a sense of space. At night, this area turns into a simply vast double bed. There are reading lights too at the front here, although because there's only one on each side at the front, it means when this is made up as a double bed, there won't be one for the person sitting towards the rear of the van. Earlier on, I mentioned that this van has a centre washroom, and I guess I was being a tiny bit disingenuous there. Yes, it is in the centre, but it is tucked away on the side of the van. And that's because Adria has chosen to concentrate on living space in this caravan rather than bathroom space. And to good effect, this really is a fantastic kitchen area. We've got a tower refrigerator, a decent sized sink, and the usual Adria three burner gas hob, which drains directly into the sink. There's also a proper extractor fan here and a couple of sockets, which is always good to see. Underneath the worktop, there's a separate oven and grill, although they are sighted really quite low. Alongside them, there's a storage for your lounge table. Now this area really does feel nice and bright. In the prototype van, this wall was painted a dark brown and Adria have chosen to make it wood color, which really lifts the space, as does the full height mirror. Great for getting yourself ready before you go out of an evening. I love the fact that the kitchen has these massive drawers. They really have a lovely action to them and are really domestic in feel. Now, time to address the elephant in the room, that washroom. Bearing in mind that this is a top spec van, the washroom does leave a little bit to be desired. There's a lot of intrusion from the wheel arch and the same bench loo as you'll find in entry level models. There is a drop down sink and a smoked window, which is good to see, but it's still a little dingy, particularly in the shower area. This caravan really is all about relaxing. I mean, check out this master bedroom. The bed is simply enormous and you don't have to leave it to operate all of the lighting in here, thanks to these rather neat controls. I've got a couple of USB sockets here too and a 230 volt socket on the other side. And of course, vast amounts of storage underneath the island bed, although you can't access that from outside. Now, while reclining back here, we can enjoy the TV once again thanks to the mounting of a telly on the wall of the bathroom. There's storage all around too. We've got some more of those nice concave cupboards overhead and a wardrobe on either side. There is one floor here, however. When you extend that bed to its fullest for nighttime use, unfortunately, it restricts access to the washroom. But I suppose there has to be a compromise somewhere. At nigh on two tonnes and well over 27,000 pounds, this is a pretty serious caravan there are still compromises to be made, in particular if you're the sort of person who likes to use the van's facilities rather than the site wash block. But Adria has listened to customers and dealers and made some really sensible tweaks to this van. Ally that to the fantastically luxurious feel and it really starts to feel like a tourer that lives up to that price tag.